Yeah, I, th I think that um, I was I was so excited that the 115 pound division was brought in. You know, those, those girls are so good, and um, a lot of them are so like cute and charismatic, and I really think that they could um, carry the gauntlet in a fantastic way. And um, I'm, I'm I couldn't be more happy for them. And um, it's a lot more weight off of my shoulders that there will be another women's champion out there now. Um, and I know on kind of the countdown show, you mentioned that your goal is to kind of retire undefeated with the belt. How much does that drive you to accomplish that goal? Um, what, do you want me to give you a number? <laughs> no, no, like, yeah, well, I would say it give me an 80% eight, eight, eight drive. Um, I mean, everything drives me for different reasons, and retire, retire undefeated is just, it is what it is. That is what I'm going to do, and I, my mind is resolved to that. None of these girls have the right to beat me under any circumstances, and I'm not going to allow that to happen. And I'm going to fight until I feel like I'm done, and when I'm done, I'm going to walk away and leave the sport in very capable hands. Um, well, the person who stands out to me the most is Misha Tate, and um, the next person that stands out to me the most is Kat Zingano, and the next person that stands out to me the most is Sarah McMahon, and um, the next person I think that stands out to me the most, um, I think uh, who I would call ranked next would be Alexis Davis. And, um, after that, you know, I don't know, um, the girls are doing great. They're, they're, they're really, um, they're performing every single time that they get out there. And, um, it, it, every single time they fight, they're fighting for the right of their division to be there, not just for themselves. And they've been doing a fantastic job so far. I would love to fight Holly Holm. I would, I would absolutely love to fight Holly Holm. I really hope that the UFC picks her up and then I get to fight her before I retire. Every single fight is brand new to me. That's why I hate holding the belt before I fight. Um, the only reason why I even touch the belt during the press conferences is because Dana, Dana tells me I have to. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't do it. I, I feel like every single fight, I, I am the challenger. And um, you don't walk in with an extra score or an extra round under your belt because you're walking in the champion and, or that you won the last fight or that it's a rematch. It's always brand new every single time that you walk in there. And, um, yeah, I'm approaching it like, like it's not even a rematch, like it's a blank slate and like that, uh, <clears throat> Misha is going to be the, the hardest and most skilled and most prepared fighter I've ever come against. And I know that she's hoping for me to come out at my worst and that I'm preparing for her to come out better than she's possibly capable of coming out. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Appreciate it.